I will fight to protect Social Security and Medicare for our seniors. Yes, I have talked about privatizing Social Security as an option. Again, that is one solution. I have not endorsed any any tax plan, so I want to make that very clear. Absolutely. I agree also. All right. So uh, so we've got you onto the dark side of the fair yes. tax. Yes, the dark side of the fair tax. Let's start by working in a bipartisan manner. I think both of us have agreed on that, that we do need to sit down and talk about these issues. I do believe the president did overstep his bounds, whether that's removal from office, um, whether that's impeachment. So he has become a dictator. He is running amok. He is not following our constitution. I support life. I believe in life. And that's a, a discussion that we need to have uh, civilly. Uh, the amendment that is being referenced uh, by the congressman would not do any of the things that you stated it would do. I think the provider should be punished um, if there were a personhood amendment. So I am someone that will continue to support the RFS. Uh, we want uh, people to choose products that work for them and not have it mandated by the United States government. Ms. Ernst, you've said that you'd like to eliminate the Department of Education. What implications does this have for students who receive Pell Grants and federal student loans? Thank you, Jake. That's a great question. And it doesn't do anything to those that receive Pell Grants and student loans. Uh, so let's get the federal government out of the business of student loans.